Hello ladies and gents, welcome to another Pro Evolution Soccer 2020 tutorial with your host Spoonie Pizzas. Today we're going to be focusing on another PC mod, this time it's the graphics mod by Chunny. So what are you going to get in this pack is HD turf, 3D grass and a new color palette. As you can see here at Old Trafford, the grass looks absolutely incredible. The work he's done is, is absolutely amazing. This is a tutorial on how to install that mod and I will be bringing out a showcase video as well just to show off the various grounds and different types of pitches that you'll see in the game. Okay, so all we need to do is boot up Google and type in Evo Web. I will leave a link in the description below anyway to the specific page. Click on the Evo Web website, page website, and then go to the editing forum, and then PES 2020. Once you're that, uh, you wanna look for this graphics mod Ultima 1.0 plus fix out now and this is made by someone called Chunny I hope I pronounced that right he's a graphics mod for FIFA and Pez so you can check out his work here this is his YouTube channel and I recommend hitting that subscribe button so let's try and boost that to at least 500 and uh, help this help this guy out um, but yeah he's got loads of videos here showcasing off the uh, the different mods like I said he doesn't just just do it for Pez he does it for FIFA as well so be sure to check that out. And here's his Twitter page as well. Um, so yeah, let's let's jump straight into the installation. So once you're here, what you're gonna need to do is scroll down. You're probably gonna need to sign in with the account if you haven't got one already, to be able to like the post because you're gonna need to unlock this hidden content which sits just here. So click like. Okay, so now we've got the download here. So just gonna click on this. And then we're going to click the download button. So once it's finished, it'll pop up down here. So what we need to do is click on the little drop down arrow and click show in folder. This will take you to your downloads page. Right mouse click and go to extract here. Okay, so what we need to do is copy the contents of this folder. So just go into that, highlight all these, click copy and then you want to go to your Pro Evolution Soccer uh, Cider folder so wherever that's kept so I know some people might keep it in the downloads folder you may have put it actually inside your eFootball PES 2020 folder so you've got to find that Cider if you don't know how to install that check out my previous video I will leave a link in the description below for that as well on how to install the Cider just paste the files in now what we need to do is copy this to the cider.ini file. So open your cider.ini and just paste that up here somewhere. It's important that you paste this at the top and then the Lua module needs to be pasted down here. So go back to the web page, just highlight this and copy and paste it in. Actually, just to tidy this up, I'm actually going to put it in just here. Once we've done that, click File and click Save. You can then close the cider. The next thing you need to do is install the fix. So once we've done that first bit, we go down here and click Like. You can see here, Fix Anti-Noise Fix for some stadiums. Click this button here, click the download, and just wait for that to finish downloading. Once it's downloaded, once again, go back down here, click on the little arrow, click on show and folder. You probably guessed it, but right mouse click, click extract here. Okay, fix files, copy this GFX mod, then go to your eFootball slider. Just go into that and just paste it in. So wherever that slider is, slider folder is, you just paste it in there. Click on replace files and that will be it. That's your fix. 
Okay, so this isn't a problem with the mods, it's just a problem that I had with Cider. As you can see here, the green font at the top of the screen keeps popping up. That's because you need to make an adjustment to your gamepad any file, which I'm going to show you now. Okay, all we need to do is find our Cider folder. So mine is kept in eFootball PES 2020. So just find your Cider folder. Go down to gamepad any and change these to zero. Okay, so simply replace the ones with zeros, click file, click save, and you're all good to go. All you need to do now is run your cider.exe file and then launch your game. And that is the end of this tutorial, ladies and gents. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe and have a great day. Bye-bye.